So in this media, we are going to learn about paralleling, synchronizing, sharing, and what are the different method by which we are doing these. Okay, whether it is by synchroscope, whether it is by da uh, dark lamp method. Okay, so we are going to discuss all and few terminologies will also be clear for you. Difference between paralleling and synchronizing and what is sharing. Okay, these three are uh, very important in a, a generator or an alternator. Okay, whenever we talk about. So, when two or more generator with same frequency, voltage and phase difference are connected to the bus bar such that it increases their overall capacity, ease of maintenance and active load management. Okay, so we do paralleling and synchronizing karte hai? Why we are doing this for generator? This is the advantage that what it happens, it increases the overall capacity, ease of maintenance, active load management and as well as cost, cost of maintenance. Okay, na? So all these things are uh, comes in picture. These are the advantages of paralleling and synchronizing. Okay, you can remember this. Why we are running two generator in parallel. Then they are called to be connected in parallel. So when this frequency, voltage and phase difference are connected in, uh, to the bus bar, then they are called to, uh, for two generator, then they are called to be connected in parallel and the method is called paralleling. And this method is called Paralleling. While uh, it will become more clear later on, while the process used in this method to assist is known as synchronizing. So, by the process by which we do paralleling is known as synchronizing. We are syncing to generator. Okay, we are syncing to generator. It is an effective way to increase the overall power output of the plant with much better control and ease of maintenance. So, these are the advantages. For two generators to be synchronized, the waveform of their output must match with the one another. So, pehla condition kya hota hai? Synchronization ka that the waveform has for the two generator has to be same. It is required to keep the inc incoming generator at slightly higher frequency. This is important. Incoming generator has to be kept at slightly higher frequency. A generator already connected to the bus bar is called running generator. So these are the important thing you should know before we go to the uh, how we do steps and all. A generator already connected to the bus bar is called running generator while the one which to be synchronized to connect is called incoming generator. Incoming generator means the other generator which is which we want to take the load which we want to uh, connect with the bus bar. Okay, which we are starting the another generator that is known as incoming generator. The one which is already uh, uh, connected is known as running generator. A generator frequency reduces slightly, slightly once it is applied to active load. Now the frequency it reduces slightly and thus an increased frequency help it avoid running as a synchronous motor. So why why it happens? Because otherwise, in absence of it, it will run as an synchronous motor. Okay, which will be reverse of generator. Moreover, a generator is not connected to the bus bar under stationary condition, as it will cause high induced EMF in stator winding, causing it to short circuit. I I hope you all know what is EMF, electromotive force. Moreover, a, uh, a generator is not connected to the bus bar under stationary condition as it will cause high induced EMF in the stator winding causing it to short circuit. So why we are not doing it? This is there. For two, two generators to be synchronized, they must have what are the three conditions that must be met? Equal number of phase that is same phase angle. Phase angle has to be same. Same voltage. Now, this means frequency and identical voltage that is sine curve that is waveform has to be same. Now, this means what happens? That if the if the running generator is connected with R Y B, then the incoming generator will also be connected in the same fashion R Y B. Means R to R, Y to Y, B to B. Okay, it cannot be R to Y. Okay. At three phase, incoming generator can be synchronized to the one connected to the bus bar using using bright lamp, dark lamp or synchro, uh, synchroscope method. 
A synchroscope is a device. Now, what is a synchroscope? A synchroscope is a device you must have seen on your panel of uh, on the ships that there is a there are dot 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 bulb in circular like a watch. Okay, synchroscope is a device used to measure the degree of synchronization. Ki how, so that we can close the breaker at right time at 12 o'clock. Okay, now, just like 12 o'clock, it's a little bit earlier. We just try to close it. It represents the relative speed of the incoming machinery. So it is representing the speed of the machinery with the help of a pointer. It is a pointer. If if it moves anti-clockwise, then the speed of incoming generator is less. So it should not be moving anti-clockwise. It must always move clockwise. While is mo while is more if it is moves clockwise. Now synchronizing. Three phase generator using synchroscope. Okay, now why? How we are synchronizing? We are synchronizing uh, it with three phase generator. Okay, we'll see the method. Now, using synchroscope, how we are doing? Start the incoming generator and warm it up while increasing its speed to meet the required operation frequency. Monitor in the control panel whether the incoming generator have the same voltage and frequency that of the bus bar. Make sure both of your generator have the same phase sequence. So, this is already we have discussed. Make make necessary adjustment if required to meet identical voltage, frequency, and phase sequence. Now, switch on the synchroscope and monitor the movement of pointer. If the pointer moving anti-clockwise increase the speed, if it moves fast along clockwise direction, reduce the alternator speed, keep the speed of incoming generator slightly more than that on load such that the pointer moves very slowly clockwise. Engage the breaker just before the pointer reach midnight that is 12 o'clock. It is the moment when the incoming generator is in phase with the bus bar. So this is the point. Once done, decide whether you uh, need both generator or on load or need to shut down the running generator. This can be achieved by lowering the governor switch of the running generator while increasing for incoming generator. So why, what we are doing? We are lowering the governor switch. Hota hai. The, uh, today all these things are automatic. We need to understand we are governing switch ko hum low karte hain, low or high rehta hai. So we are lowering for the running generator. We are increasing for the incoming generator. So uh, that way switch off the synchroscope switch off or trip the breaker for the running generator now the generator is on standby now synchronizing three phase generator using lamp method now proper synchronization for an alternator can be achieved by using either dark lamp or one with dark two, uh, two bright lamp method it's a cheap alternative for expensive synchroscope for the job in dark lamp method, all the three bulb is connected. So as the name suggests, here is a bulb hota hai across the same phase that is R, R, Y, Y, B, B with a voltmeter connected across the two phase of the bus bar and the terminal of the incoming generator. On the other hand, one dark and the two bright lamp method have one lamp connected in phase while other out of the phase to the bus bar that is R, B, Y, Y, B, R. Okay. The basic idea behind working of dark lamp method is that when the two generator are in synchronicity, their net resultant frequency will be zero. So this is very important to know. Okay. You can consider it by this. If the bus bar frequency is 60 Hz and that of the incoming generator is 50 Hz, then the resultant frequency is 10 Hz. At this point in time, all the three lamps will remain dark. Okay. Initially, when there is a difference between these frequencies, the resultant frequency will cause the lamp to flicker on and off concurrently. Just in case, if these bulbs don't flicker concurrently, it's a clear cut indication of the incurrent phase sequence. Stop the incoming generator and replace the terminal position in the process. The breaker is closed when during the dark phase of the light when the net frequency is almost similarly. We can use two bright and one dark method to do it modifiably. So these are not so much important steps to parallel generator by using two bright one dark lamp method start the prime mover of the alternator and bring it to the rated speed connect the three lamp and a voltmeter to the terminal as shown in the above figure following the two uh, bring and one dark lamp method check whether the incoming generator have the same voltage as of the bus bar if not increase the voltage by changing field current in the alternator till it matches up with that of the bus bar 
watch for the bulb flicker and decide whether it follows an anti clockwise or clockwise pattern so all these are self explanatory steps uh, we have already some of them we have covered that is the reason we are not uh, going into it an anti clockwise movement indicates slow speed while a clockwise movement indicate fast speed of the incoming generator in respect of the bus bar or running generator now change the speed of the alternator according to accordingly to reduce the flicking of the bulb to nearly zero or as low as possible now close the breaker at moment when the bulb connected in the phase is dark while the other two are equally bright once done decide whether you need both generator on load or need to shut down the running generator this can be achieved by lowering the governor switch of the running generator while increasing for incoming generator now disconnect the supply of the lamp and turn off the steps down transformer connected if any if the general practice for high voltage generator to connect these lamps via and step down transformer switch off or trip the breaker for the running generator now the generator is on standby okay now one thing you need to remember in sharing now when we when we are doing when the generator is running in parallel so one thing you need to remember is that when you are running a generator in parallel then it is not necessary that the both the generator should take the same load depending on their capacity the generator will take the load okay it is it is a common common means misconception now in shipping industry we have more than two generator that is we have three generators okay so almost all the generators are similar if we leave uh, uh, emergency generator all the generators are similar in the ratings capacity means uska jo वोल्टेज होता है या फिर उसका रेटेड कैपेसिटी होता है वो सब उनका आइडेंटिकल होता है दैट इज द रीजन वाई वी दे टेक इक्वल लोड ओके अदरवाइज इन अदर इंडस्ट्रीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द जनरेटर कैपेसिटी दे टेक दैट लोड ओके सो शेयरिंग इक्वल लोड और शेयर शेयरिंग कैन बी अन इक्वल लोड ऑल्सो सो दैट इज यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सो टूडे वी हैव कवर्ड वॉट इज पैरलिंग वॉट इज सिंक्रोनाइजिंग वॉट इज शेयरिंग ऑफ लोड okay difference between paralleling and synchronizing what is a synchroscope what are the different why we are doing uh, paralleling of the generator or synchronizing what are the advantages of it and what are the three different methods by which we are doing it whether it is by synchroscope or it is by a dark lamp or a bright lamp method two lamp or one lamp whatever it is okay so we are we have covered this thank you so much thank you for your valuable time have a have a wonderful day ahead